if you understand how the fibers of the universe is, that the universe doesn't have yes or no, the universe isn't, isn't wired in duality. It's not yes and no, positive and negative. It's not. I'm sorry, it's not. It's wired in yes. Only positive charge, amplification, expansion. There is no contraction in the universe ever which means whatever you say expands. So if I'm saying, no, I don't want that, it gets bigger, okay? Like a rash. The more you scratch it and tell it to go away, the bigger it gets. That's a perfect analogy. It's like, don't scratch it, but it itches and I want it to stop itching, so I want to hurt it because it's hurting me. It's resistance. So when you're saying, I don't want that, I can't have that. I, I, I don't like that. Then your body, your brain has a plethora, plethora of programs to choose from in this instant. Now, when I say programs, I mean autopilot, autopilot, AKA unconscious. Okay. So when you are in resistance, when you are in pain, when you are in fight, flight, or freeze, when you are being attacked, when you lose something, you ever lost your phone and go crazy, you know, <laughs> like when you break something or something breaks, when you are judged, when you are criticized, when you are, are looked at from who you were as the past, it's like this big defense wall comes up. Right. Boom. Now, brain goes, don't worry, consciousness. We've got this. We know how to tie our shoes. And it has its preferred fight, flight, freeze action points, which means that you can be highly aware and very conscious and know all of quantum physics and understand string theory and, and, you know, live in higher realms of meditation. And when you get triggered, you go to the other side of your brain that says, we know how to survive. Don't worry. You stay in your dreams over there. We've got this. And how we feel the most secure and how we're going to survive this is this program. This is why they change on you, you guys, because you have a hundred of them. This is why you get triggered differently with different things. You know, think about how you get triggered when someone attacks you or judges you, right? Your nervous system, right? All your adrenaline. Humiliation is the energy of sucking yourself into yourself so that you can disappear. It's like you want to implode humiliation. I want to disappear. I want to implode I want to hide. So would this be fight, flight, or freeze? Freeze, right? It's like, like T-Rex. I can't, you can't see me if I'm not breathing, you know? It's like, okay, so this is humiliation, which is one of our root, 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 root wounds that built the fabric of our brain in survival. Humiliation. I am not safe. I am not lovable. I am not seen correctly. I am not valuable, valued. I am now worth less. See the word? Worth less. I just were became worth less than I thought I was. I thought I was a million dollars and now I'm 50 cents. Worth less, right? So the brain takes that hardened energy of adrenaline that you use to disappear into yourself it sends a signal to every single cell in your body through adrenalized emotion, energy in motion, the carrier, and sugar is required to transport calories, energy, vehicles, to tell every fiber of your being that it's time for you to disappear, right, or hide, or be quiet or change yourself immediately. Time to build a new mask. Time to create a new you. 
Okay. So this is your automatic sequences. Part of them. These are examples. Every You might not identify with everything perfectly, but for a group session, this is the best I got. All right. So let's see if you are attacked. Okay. If you are attacked, you have two opportunities, attack back or run like hell. It's very uh, difficult unless you are like a possum to play dead. Okay. But you do have that accessible point through your reptilian brain that if you choose to play dead, you can play dead when you are attacked. You can go unconscious. You can jump out of your body and not feel what is happening. And this is what we call the effect when, when people cannot remember their childhood, you know, when I'm doing hypnosis or something and they're like, I can't, I have no recollection. They were playing possum. Because the safest thing that they could do in that moment was to not be there. So playing possum is appearing as dead. Okay. That means that the body is going through whatever it's going through. And you consciously, the, the conscious part of you that thinks it's you over here, jumps out and either goes into you know, imagination or a made up fantasy place or grabs onto something like based in security and focuses on something else. Right. And so that does not have to be attached to the body while the body is going through a circumstance. Okay. So when you go boom inside, you have three opportunities. You have three op when you have that nervous system, shh, like boust of heat, just whoosh, right. We all know it. Fight, flight, freeze, or attack. Okay, run, hide, or disappear. Now, a lot of the times when I am doing a lot of deep hypnosis work. I am finding that someone who felt the safest in disappearing is still about six inches to six feet outside of themselves, which means they have no clue what this is going, where's what's going on in here. And these are the people like, what am I supposed to eat? What am I supposed to do? These people are going to be the most disassociated, but they are also going to be the most super aware of future circumstances because they're always looking for what they have to protect themselves from. Okay. So with that being said, we've got fight, flight, or freeze. So your brain, by the time you were seven, decided based on who, what, where, when, how, which one to use. So you do not have the same fight or flight for every circumstance. You do not. You're you're going to, you're, you know, you're watching this movie, but it's more of like VR. So you're reacting. Remember the script read? You're reacting. Whoa, this is coming at me. You're ducking, right? None of it's happening. But your brain has a program to say, oh, it's very real. And through chemical expressions, gives you sensations, feelings, informations and activations to prompt the rest of the body very quickly through the spinal fluid to let you know exactly who you are in this moment. I need to protect myself. I need to hide. I need to attack. Okay. Now, the hard part in all this, say so we're just going to make it more and more complicated, is that a lot of us, probably everyone who is listening to this, is not only aware of how they are feeling, but they're also empathetic to how other people are feeling, right? In my teacher training, I call it the wobble, right? So I'm going along my day, all of a sudden my kid comes home and he's had a really bad day. He's been bullied at school. Now, my body is not experiencing fight, flight, or freeze, but because I am empathically connected and attached, attached, his problem is my problem. And I cannot not feel that. Okay. Now, his fight or flight mechanism is going to be different than my fight or flight mechanism. And we all know the mommy bear syndrome. It's attack, right? There's not like, let's hide, let's run away, let's move. It's like, oh no. Right. Because again, because you're an 
appendage, you're a dependent, you are attached, then it's easier for me to stand up for you than myself because they can less likely attack me, right, than you. 